Okay, another question on my final exam, this time in the multiple choice format. We would like to know which of this series right here diverges by test for divergence. So of course, we have to know what does the test for divergence say. So let me just write this down for you guys. All we have to do is to take the limit. So today, if you see the limit of n goes to infinity of a n, and remember, this, 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 and that, they are the a n. Take the limit of that part. If you don't see zero, if this limit is not zero, then congratulations, because we get to draw a conclusion that the series as n goes from one to infinity of a n, this right here, diverges. And before we do anything else, let me just make a small remark. The starting value of n right here doesn't matter. You can say n is equal to 1, n is equal to 11, n is equal to 3 like this. Doesn't matter, right? All we care about is just um, you know, infinite series. Okay, maybe you guys can also leave a comment down below. Let me know why did I start with n equals 3 right here for the first two series and the other ones I was just start at 1. So let me know. All right, so in order for us to use the test for divergence, this is the check that we have to do. That's all. So let's just go through the choices. <laughs> I know the answer is D, but let me just do the video for you guys, all right? So here we go. We are going to check, and we take the limit as n goes to infinity. So we have the 1 over square root of n times ln n. And to do this, you can just put infinity into the square root and also the ln. We get 1 over square root of infinity times ln of infinity. Square root of infinity is infinity. ln of infinity is also infinity. In fact, we have infinity in the denominator. 1 is finite. Over infinity, we get 0. But unfortunately, this 0, it's a sad face because it's a 0. In a test for divergence situation, I cannot use 0 to draw any conclusion. Right? So I cannot say this right here diverges by the test for divergence. I can't because this right here is zero, right? So you have to know the criteria, you have to know um, the number you are using and all that. But an interesting question for you guys is that, yes, in order to test this out, we will have to do more work and leave a comment down below and let me know, does this diverge or converge? And which test and how do you approach it, right? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Now, next one, we have 1 over n squared times the n, n, which is pretty much the same thing, but I will still write down the work for you guys. So 1 over n squared times l n n, this right here, 1 over infinity squared times l n infinity, still get that sad face 0. Maybe this time I'm making it to an angry face. How do I do it? Like this. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, not so angry. Maybe just put some eyebrow like this. Angrier. Okay, cool. So, same thing. Let me know if this converge or diverge. At the moment, I don't know. At the moment, I cannot use the TFD to show this right here diverges. Sorry. It's okay. We will move on. C, we have this. So, this time the limit is slightly more interesting. So, we take the limit as n goes to infinity. n squared over n cubed plus 2n minus 1. And of course, when you are taking the test on your own, you don't have to show me all the work, right? Just I'm just doing a video for you guys. That's what I said. Anyway, for this right here, if you need to show work, you have the legitimate way to do it, or you have the quick and dirty way to do it. The legitimate way is you divide the top and bottom by the highest power of n, namely n to a third power in this situation. So that's a legitimate way to do it. But the quick and dirty way is since this is a rational situation, we can just pick the highest power of n on the top and also the highest power of n on the, on the, on the bottom. So this reduced to 1 over n, right? And you take the limit of that, you pretty much will just get, no, let me just write it down. n goes from 1 to, uh, n goes to infinity. Reduce it, you get 1 over n, which is 1 over infinity, which is 0, which is, uh, like this kind of face. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's the answer. Yes, I know. But I will show you guys the work. 
limit as n goes to infinity of cosine of 1 over n. This time, we put the infinity in here, we have cosine of 1 over infinity. 1 over infinity is 0, so this is cosine of 0, which is 1. Yes! Because 1 is not 0. So this right here, we are good, right? So this right here, we get to draw a conclusion by the test for divergence. So let me just write here, we can say this right here diverges by TFD. So D is the answer. And then for this three right here, I don't know if they can virtually diverge. I couldn't draw any conclusion. Well, let's talk about E as well because this is also really interesting. Yes, if you take the limit of the cosine of 1 over n, and then minus 1, this is slightly more interesting. Because you put down cosine of 1 over infinity, but this time you have that minus 1. This right here is this one. And then we have this another minus 1. So 1 minus 1, of course, is 0. This time, I don't know, it's like this kind of face, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, I have a question for you guys. Yes, that's the question. Does this converge or diverge and how do you prove it? But anyway, uh, try them first, right? Try one, two, three, four. Try this four first on your own. I will make some more videos for this four series for you guys. Uh, but do it on your own. It's more fun that way. Anyway, at the moment, that's it.